Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our latest bout to weather report. We're actually looking at a potential snowstorm tracking across the central United States uh, to the Midwest and the Northeast. Um, before we actually get started, if you're new to this channel and appreciate up to date weather content, uh, please go ahead and subscribe and click the notification notification bell and um, so that we can actually go ahead and get started and jump into this. This is bow to weather. Okay, so we're actually tracking this powerful system that is moving into the uh, Midwest and will impact several cities and states along the way. Uh, just a little history on this system that we're actually um, looking at. It started as a low pressure system off the West Coast and tracked over Nevada and New Mexico, dumping quite a bit of, of snow in the upper elevations, up to uh, 12 to 16 inches of snow was reported in the upper elevations of New Mexico. So it was it brought with it uh, quite a bit of moisture as it tracked its way across the uh, southwest United States um, into central United States, and it's now migrating its way up to through Chicago, impacting Chicago, uh, Nashville. We're going to take a look at the Nat Nashville um, uh, biogram, and we're also going to take a look at Boston, also in, in addition to Chicago. But we wanted to take a look at three cities uh, just to compile some information and give you an idea of exactly the scope of this system. And um, it will impact several cities and states along the way. Just a little history, as we said, um, it's off, it came off of the West Coast. So we're actually going to look at three different biograms and then uh, we'll see when it will start raining and possibly clear up in the next few days. Um, when it comes to Chicago for Saturday, we anticipate um, quite a bit of rain throughout the day as the system makes its way through through the through the area. Uh, if we go to the satellite, we can actually see on our on our satellite feature here as the system actually migrates its way across uh, the Midwest into the Chicago area, and then eventually go to the Northwest. Uh, we anticipate that the rain will start in the early morning hours as the system moves into the state of Illinois, and the ten temperature and the pressure will drop. Uh, throughout the day, and it may be raining throughout most of the day on Saturday, and snow is possible from around in the late afternoon to around midnight um, in Chicago. So as this system um, bears down on Chicago, we anticipate quite a few things um, actually changing. And then on Sunday, it will be cloudy until, um, until about 6 a.m., then sunny in the morning. Um, with this system, there's going to be quite a bit of gale winds behind the system, um, so we anticipate with any low pressure system moving into an area, there's always turbulent uh, wind um, on the back, especially as the isobars will start tightening up as it bears down on that area. It's very, very, uh, it's basically a cyclonic system. And with anything that's cyclonic, there's going to be treacherous winds on the back end as it moves into the system. So we anticipate that the winds will start gusting pretty heavy on Saturday possibly up to 30 to 35 miles per hour with gale winds um, following the front. And then uh, what we'll see is a corresponding drop in temperature. And you can actually see it here on our biogram for Chicago. Um, as, it, as the system moves in, um, the pressure does drop and the temperature does drop also. And we can see by this red line here, uh, this is the temperature. So as the system moves in, uh, the temperature will be fluctuating and going closer and closer below the zero um, throughout the weekend. Um, it will sort of clear up a little bit on Sunday evening. It will still be a little bit cloudy, but as the system, as you can see um, um, with this system, what happens is um, they, the the both the pressure and the pressure line interact, and then we see the snow. So that is what we're actually tracking for Chicago. We're going to take a look at Nashville. 
Yes, ladies and gentlemen. So the next city that we're actually going to take a look at that would that is actually being impacted by this low pressure system as it migrates its way towards the northeast, and we're tracking it all the way. Another city that we wanted to take a quick look at is the city of Nashville, Tennessee, uh, because as this low pressure system migrates and tracks into the northeast, there's going to be a second wave of 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 um of activity that we actually see on the precipitation model and it's pretty interesting and if you if you actually look in this zone here you'll actually be able to see the um, the system as it makes its way um, this extra uh, an additional wave of precipitation behind this low pressure system um, as we mentioned as these cyclonic um, systems kind of tighten and their isobars start to tighten as we can see here um, there's usually quite a bit of activity on the back and weather changes all the time usually on on the back end of these systems and we do see another system that's actually making its way and it will actually track from uh, west to east and it will impact the the nashville area as we can see on saturday um, once the system starts making its way into that area uh, for the Nashville area on Saturday, uh, what we are anticipating is that um, at around midnight, the rain throughout most of the day on Saturday up to about 12 midnight, and then um, high gust winds are anticipated um, in the early Sunday, uh, Sunday morning through um, with possible rain in the late evening on Sunday. And then we anticipate things kind of clearing up with possible snow on Monday. So this system is actually going to impact quite a bit as it makes its way across. Um, we, do an, we do see these intersecting lines of temperature and pressure as we track the data points coming in. And it's always very interesting to see when the temperature um, when the pressure is fluctuating, but the temperature drops, and depending on the right conditions are favorable for snowfall and rain. So we do see as a system migrates into the Nashville area, and when we actually go to our satellite feed, uh, we can take another look at the system moving in. We actually see the rain um, and the cloud cover coming into that area. And as that comes in, we see that correlation of the temperature dropping. Um, this, the, the, the pressure relatively stays nominal um, for the Nashville area uh, between um, 10, 15 um, hectopascals and um, uh, uh, 10, 25. But we do see fluctuations with the temperature. So we do anticipate it getting pretty chilly once the system moves in. And as you can see, there's a possible opportunity for snow um, uh, for the for uh, on Monday morning, possibly Sunday night going into Monday morning. So that is what we're actually looking at for the Nashville area. But as you can see, it's you know the fluctuations of um, temperature are definitely there. So anticipate very um, clearer, cooler skies, uh, cooler temperatures on Monday afternoon as the system moves in. Um, by then, the main system would have made its way up to the northeast, and then we would be looking, or we're going to be taking a look at the next barogram for uh, Boston, Massachusetts, to see the impact of this system as it makes its way and uh, how the timeline will be adjusted um, for Saturday and Sunday and Monday as this low pressure system makes its way firmly into the northeast. We don't anticipate it having uh, the tremendous amount of moisture that the previous system had about a week and a half ago, but it is going to have an impact. We do anticipate quite a bit of snowfall in, in the state of Maine, possibly Vermont, um, but we are going to take a look at Boston and see uh, the impact of this low pressure system in the Boston area. And as you can see, not only in the Northeast will be um, encountering um, um, cooler temperatures. We do see a cold front possibly moving into the state of Florida, eventually it will be moving through the panhandle of Florida um, as it makes its way down. And um, that will mean uh, cooler temperatures for, for the state of Florida. So we are looking definitely at that feature there. And then we're going to comment on, uh, on Boston. Yes, uh, in regards to Boston, ladies and gentlemen, we are tracking uh, what the system will actually do once it gets into the northeast area. 
And um, based on our barogram for the Boston area, we do anticipate that uh, conditions will remain relatively stable um, in the early part of the day on Saturday. But as the system makes its way in, uh, we do anticipate that um, there is possibility of um, a mix of rain and snow in the area, especially in the afternoon and the night. Um, and then going into Sunday morning, uh, we do see that characteristic um, uh, pressure drop as the system makes its way in. And uh, we do anticipate that those um, isobars will tighten up quite a bit as it makes its way into the northeast and it, it firmly tracks its way into the northeast. Um, so there is possible precipitation and possibly a mix of transition of precipitation into snow from the late night of Saturday into Sunday morning. Um, things will clear up a little bit in the afternoon, we anticipate, for Sunday. Um, but the pressure drop there, it will continue to drop quite a bit. And then we anticipate possibly some snow on Monday morning um, or, and also uh, Monday afternoon for the Boston area. Um, the temperature will actually stay a little bit above freezing, we anticipate, but there is that drop in, in pressure that we anticipate, um, and that will, that will give rise to possibly that cold air descending and um, maybe um, producing a few, few inches or even a foot of snow in the area. So it's definitely something that we want to watch, but um, we always take a look at the pressure to see what's actually going to happen with the system. And we do anticipate a little bit extra snow, snowfall on Monday in the afternoon um, between like 2 p.m. to 6 p.m., possibly for Boston area as this system tracks its way into the northeast and um, makes its way up to Maine. So we are looking at um, quite a, a pretty expansive system as and as you can see uh, we tracked it all the way from we've been tracking the system all the way from the western coast of California uh, we did a report on uh, the system when it impacted New Mexico and we also are doing a report as the system impacts next um, Nashville and Chicago so um, we do into anticipate things will get kind of kind of um, heavy for Boston. We're anticipating, as we said, we're anticipating um, rain in the early morning Saturday with Sunday morning with uh, midday, uh, a little bit sunny midday on Sunday, and then some clouds and winds. The, the winds will most likely start gusting up on Sunday night, we anticipate, um, as the system firmly makes its way into the northeast. And then, of course, we see that mix of possible um, slushy mix of rain and snow possible for Monday afternoon. So that is our report for this system going forward. Of course, we're going to go ahead and continue to track it over the weekend and report back to you as far as what's actually happening with this system as it makes its way across. And we, of course, we see that cold front making its way down into, um, we anticipate a cold front making its way down into um, the Florida area. And then conditions will become a little bit more favorable for uh, southwest and central United States as these high pressure systems make their way in um, and the air and the weather will get a little bit clearer, clearer up. Uh, we do have a situation in the Pacific North, uh, Northwest um, that we are also tracking. Um, so there's quite a bit of a, uh, quite a bit of activity going on um, here in mid-December um, um, for the United States. So we're definitely going to be bringing you as uh, up-to-date um, information. Please, by all means, go ahead, like, share, and subscribe um, with friends and family who appreciate weather content. Uh, we try to bring the most accurate and the most timely uh, reports with the most inf uh, with, with as much data as possible to keep our subscribers informed um, of systems. Um, not only in the continental United States, but also in the Caribbean, um, Southwest Caribbean, and also we also track systems in the Pacific um, Northwest. So as always, we just wanted to say thank you to all of our subscribers, and please go ahead and click the notification bell uh, for our next video, and thank you very much, and always remember to bow to the weather. Thank you. This is Bow to Weather.